Well, that's freaky. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times TV shows predicted the future. Help! I've escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement! Help me! Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at our favorite creepy and uncanny examples of TV shows predicting future events. Number 10. Google Glass – Star Trek – Deep Space Nine With the amount of futuristic technology present in the Star Trek franchise, fiction has met reality a few times. One such case can be found in Deep Space Nine and Google Glass, and while it wasn't a spot-on prediction, it's pretty damn close. In the show, virtual display devices are placed over characters' heads, and a little computer screen hovers over one eye. One character even says that, quote, it's like having a view screen inside your brain. A few decades later, Google would unveil the Google Glass, and it looked and functioned almost exactly like the show's virtual display devices. Number 9. Super Bowl 30 – Quantum Leap These writers should look into sports betting. In the episode All Americans, which aired in 1990, Al was watching Super Bowl 30, and it was mentioned that the Pittsburgh Steelers were down by three points. Where have you been? I've been watching Super Bowl 30. Oh, Sam, the Steelers are down by three. Sure enough, the Pittsburgh Steelers played the Dallas Cowboys in Super Bowl 30, six years after the episode aired on television. And the kicker? In the fourth quarter of the game, the Steelers were down 20 to 10 when running back Bam Morris scored a touchdown, making the score 20 to 17. Yep, the Steelers were down by three in Super Bowl 30, just as Quantum Leap had said. Number 8. The 7-7 Bombings – Spooks Spooks is a BBC One production that follows the lives of various MI5 officers. On July 7, 2005, terrorists bombed various areas of London, including the London Underground, killing 52 and injuring over 700. Spooks Series 4 premiere followed an extremely close storyline, as the agents are forced to battle a terrorist group called Shining Dawn, who threaten to blow up a public place, including the London Underground, every 10 hours. While this episode aired two months after the attack, it was filmed months in advance, and it aired with an advisory that warned viewers of the episode's similarities and coincidences. Number 7. O.J. Simpson's If I Did It – The Chris Rock Show this feels like it must have been intentional, because the similarities are just way too coincidental. In this segment, Chris Rock is showing us around the backstage of his studio. Who can forget the night OJ came by to sell his new instructional videotape, I Didn't Kill My Wife. It's there that he finds OJ Simpson's fictional video, I Didn't Kill My Wife. But if I did, here's how I'd do it. This episode aired in 1997. Ten years later, the book If I Did It was released, which details how Simpson would have enacted the murders if he decided to kill Brown and Goldman. While Simpson's manager has claimed that Simpson didn't write the book, he still accepted money for its publication, indicating an acceptance of the material within. Number 6. Edward Snowden – Person of Interest Edward Snowden shocked the world in 2013 when he controversially leaked classified information regarding secret surveillance programs. The reaction was mixed. Some hailed him as a hero and a patriot, while others called him a traitor. We all would have seen this coming if we had watched Person of Interest. There's something else going on here. I'm being set up. In May of 2012, the episode No Good Deed aired, which told the story of an NSA security analyst who learns of a massive surveillance program, leaks the info to the press, and is subsequently hunted by the government. So, you know, pretty much the exact same situation that Edward Snowden found himself in. Number 5. The Moon Landing – Star Trek The Original Series We're pretty sure that Star Trek writers are just time hoppers at this point. In a Season 1 episode titled Tomorrow is Yesterday, the Enterprise crew is sent back to the 1960s, and there's a reference to a three-man mission to the moon leaving Cape Kennedy on Wednesday. The first manned moonshot is scheduled for Wednesday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This episode aired in 1967. Two years later, Apollo 11, the first manned mission to the moon, left Kennedy Space Center on Wednesday, July 16th, with three men on board. What? While details of the upcoming mission were probably big news in 1967, it's still pretty impressive. Number 4. The Boston Marathon – Family Guy 
In the episode Turban Cowboy, which aired on March 17, 2013, Peter runs his car through the Boston Marathon and kills and injures dozens, perhaps hundreds of people. It's a pretty sick joke, but this is Family Guy. The bombing of the Boston Marathon occurred only one month later an event that killed three and injured hundreds. The episode was immediately pulled from Fox.com and Hulu, and Fox claimed that the episode would not be re-aired on television in the immediate future. Some cried conspiracy, while others called it a sick coincidence. Number 3. President Trump, The Simpsons When this clairvoyant writer's room isn't busy predicting the Disney-Fox merger, they're foretelling the future of American politics. Remember when the idea of Donald Trump being President of the United States was just a joke? Who knew it would actually happen? Back on March 19, 2000, The Simpsons aired the episode Bart to the Future, in which Bart sees a vision of, well, the future. <sighs> well, he's a deadbeat alcoholic. Lisa is the President of the United States, and she makes a comment regarding her predecessor, President Trump. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. The episode's writer, Dan Greeney, said that the joke was meant to insinuate that America couldn't sink any lower. Sixteen years later, Trump was elected the country's 45th president. <laughs> Simpsons did it first indeed. Number 2. Osama Bin Laden in Pakistan – Scrubs who knew that a goofy medical drama would correctly predict the location of the most notorious terrorist in modern history? In the 2006 episode His Story 4, the hospital is in the midst of a political debate, and JD feels left out. Enter the wacky janitor, who claims that the government should be looking for bin Laden in Pakistan, causing JD to ask for a globe. In my opinion, we should be looking for bin Laden in Pakistan. Do you have that globe nearby? Bin Laden was famously killed in Pakistan on May 2, 2011 in his supposed home of five plus years. This would mean that Bin Laden was allegedly living in Pakistan in 2006. No one ever listens to the janitor. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. It, it is impossible for me to be dead. Oh no, you're dead. You're quite dead, completely dead. That's something you're just going to have to live with. <laughs> Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. Number 1. 9-11. The Lone Gunman It really is quite something to predict a massive terrorist attack. The Lone Gunman was an X-Files spin-off that aired for only 13 episodes in 2001. That's right, same year and everything. In the series premiere, which aired on March 4th, the characters find themselves in the middle of a government conspiracy. But bring down a fully loaded 727 into the middle of New York City, and you'll find a dozen tin pot dictators all over the world just clamoring to take responsibility. The plan is to ram a plane into the World Trade Center, blame it on terrorists, and reap the rewards of increased weapon sales. Only six months later, History was made when two planes were flown into the north and south towers of the World Trade Center. Now, we're not saying that the writers are psychic, but that is pretty damn creepy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.